Well, when you talk of Mostadan, here's a horse who actually raced in bottomless ground in the Ark uh, at the beginning of October. Then we freshened him up, put him away, and brought him out for the Saudi Arabian meeting, the Neom Cup, very valuable race, mile a quarter on the turf uh, in Riyadh at uh, the big track there. And he won in tremendous style. We then came home, we got a little bit bold, we went and took on the, the unparalleled champion horse, Equinox from Japan. We took him on over a mile and a half and we put, took the race to him, paid the price, but uh, he finished fourth. But then when you've done that, you then freshen, come back home, that's the end of March, freshen for Royal Ascot. And then of course he comes into Royal Ascot and he runs a quite superb race to win the Prince of Wales in dashing style. And then another, gap because once you've won that you either roll back in the eclipse about 12 days later which is too close in my opinion or you wait for the Judmon International which we did so he doesn't have to have these long breaks but that's the way it came up because he has effectively been racing non-stop now for virtually two years if you analyze his program you know a great ride from Frankie Nashua ran a blinder Paddington in third so it was a huge race small field but it's fascinating and exciting and it's a record-breaking Chudmon International success for Frankie on his farewell. And then we were hoping to run in the champion stakes at Ascot, but unfortunately, well, it would have been good if it was a weekend before its usual weekend, because the ground was perfect. But unfortunately, Storm Babbitt, I think they called it, flooded the whole country, including Ascot. So it was a little too soft for him there. And he heads off to the Breeders' Cup uh, on the big flight. Uh, they're all going Stansted, Stansted into Shannon pick up all the Irish horses and then on to California. We'd love it if the race was a mile and a quarter, but uh, he, he is a horse that, you know, he gets a win in your in ticket for winning the Judmont, so entry fees are waived, that makes quite a big difference. It's not an inexpensive venture going to the Breeders' Cup. And um, no, I couldn't, couldn't be more pleased with him in his preparation. It is a mile and a half, but they do freewheel down the hill for three furlongs before they cross the main track onto, onto the turf oval. So it's what we call a, a pretty fast, sharp mile and a half. So in Spiral has uh, been trained nicely since the Sun Chariot. Superb performance there and obviously ran a great race uh, in the Jacques Marwa to win that, beating the horse who toddled up in the, in the QE2 the other day. But it's 500 wins for Frankie Dottori at Newmarket as in Spiral wins the Sun Chariot. Her season has been not a long or heavy one. We were going to run in the lock in, she couldn't. She wasn't quite right. Came to the Queen Anne, just needing the race a little bit on that ground. It, it got rain softened, but she ran a race to be second. And then, of course, we went to the Sussex Stakes. It was bottomless. It's been a funny old year for weather, hasn't it? She didn't like that, but we had a, what we might call a very elaborate piece of work. And then 11 days later, in to win the Chacon Marwa. And so, look, it's been a, a good season with her, two group ones. And she goes out there, again, stepping up in trip. I didn't want to run in the mile there. If you draw the outside, it's, it's a nightmare because the bend comes up so quickly in the mile. So we felt, Frankie very much felt too, that the mile and a quarter would suit her. The American style of racing is very different. And she is a lady who likes things her way. She might decide that she doesn't like American racing. It's very possible. But uh, she has been mostly running, as you know, on straight miles and such like. But, uh, She's in top order herself, and again, she goes there pretty fresh. Sometimes we used to go to the Breeders' Cup having run pillar to post all year in, in Europe, and go to the Breeders' Cup as an afterthought, which doesn't really work because the horses are just a bit flat by then, but she is very much full of herself at the moment.